Hey guys, what's going on? It is Cruzava here and I welcome each and every one of you to a brand new video here on our channel, The Guide. And today we have something special because we're going to take a look at one of the best players in the world right now, Dolan Mike, coming from Germany, who dominated the recent Second Foot Champions Cup and won it with quite the special formation and playstyle. And we're breaking down his attacking game to see how he's dealing with the recent changes post patch, for example, the step over nerves and how he's still able to maintain such a strong attacking game. Of course, all of Dolan Mike's socials will be linked in the description down below. Make sure to check them out and leave a follow. Great guy, great player. And also make sure to check out our platform, The Guide Plus, where we release four articles and videos every single week with the latest meta gameplay tips, with FIFA Ultimate Team content like player reviews, for example, formation and tactic tips, and also content on the mental aspect of FIFA. Our goal is to make you become a better player day by day. If you're interested in that, then check out the link to the Guide Plus in the description. And with that said, let's jump right into the analysis. Jumping straight into the analysis, the big thing you guys have to know is that Dual Mike played the 5-3-2 formation in this tournament and to great success he has an entire video on his own channel where he shows his tactics and instructions that he uses for this formation. I don't want to take away too much from that so definitely check the link in the description to watch that video. But a big factor, and you guys have to know th this, is that he's not really playing the five at the back formation very defensively because he has his wing backs set on join the attack. And that means that essentially in attack, he's playing a three at the back formation. And that gives him a lot of options on both the wing as well as in the center of the pitch. And you will see that in all the gameplay scenes and it allows him to go for a very balanced attacking style. So let's jump here into the first attacking scene and we can see that generally he's very patient in attack and if he knows that the opponent has him covered in that current scenario like right here where he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the wing back and he's uh, closely covered by that player and also doesn't really have any attacking support in the center yet he doesn't hesitate and he simply does a ball roll backwards in order to shield the ball away from the defender and keep possession so he doesn't force it in attack and he simply plays it back to his wing back and then also his left center back and then calmly pushes forward and then slowly the formation will come into play as we can see right here so he has a lot of players joining the attack starting with his left wing back and then also on the radar we can see his right wing back which essentially uh, work as wingers but then he also has two strikers in the center of the pitch and then his two central midfielders who are more in the build-up uh, scenario and then also another center mid who acts more as a cam in order to push forward as well and then have this triangle in the center of the pitch like for example in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation and that gives him a lot of attacking options so let's see how he uses that in this scenario he keeps the ball with uh, Vieira in this specific spot here and waits for the options that arise from his two strikers and as we can see Pelé is not really in the best position here, but Ronaldo is getting into a good position and he plays the ball towards him. And now this is a very crucial scenario because before the patch, this would have been a good spot for a step over towards one of the sides. Maybe you could also use the bridge move here. And at the time of the tournament, it wasn't nerfed yet, but now that also received the nerf. So what can we do in this position? Well, Dolan Mike shows us what we can do. He uses the left stick dribbling to great success. A technique which almost was forgotten but still can work even in FIFA 21. And you can see right here how exactly you can fool the opponent with just simple left stick dribbling. So basically Dolan Mike is approaching like this and then at a later point he will do one little jiggle upwards. And as we will see in a second 
that leads his opponent to believe that he might go upwards and that's why his opponent will switch players here and will go upwards with his defender and as we can see Naysad in this situation is fooled because Don Mike only did this little jiggle here as a distraction and immediately flicks his left stick back diagonally down right and after that he's free on goal and he doesn't hesitate at all and goes for the shot immediately. So some simple very basic left stick dribbling after a controlled build up was enough. Now in this second scene we will see some counter attacking, some fast build up but also the left stick dribbling once again right here in this scenario getting a tackle from the opponent and then being able to score. Now why does Don Mike attack faster in this spot right here? It always depends on the scenario that he's in and if he sees that there is a better opportunity for a counter attack then he will go for it and right here we can see that uh, Naysad is deciding to defend very aggressively and pushes into Dolan Mike basically and here's a very open passing opportunity to Ronaldo and then uh, his uh, left back I think in that scenario Davis he is subbed in maybe he subbed him in as a central midfielder that could also be is overlapping um, and that gives a ton of options already because he also has his other striker and then another central midfielder so essentially he's in a four on three scenario right here and there's no reason for him to do a slow build up but instead he pushes forward he keeps the ball for a very long time with Ronaldo and once again it's a little jiggle and baiting out the tackle so we can see and also Don Mike will see that that the opponent has his center back selected and currently he is running straight with Ronaldo and then he does a little move upwards in order to bait the defender's movement um, because I think he also realized that Nasad is defending very aggressively maybe also because he's behind shortly before the first game ends and maybe he wants to correct that and once again it's just a little movement upwards and then going straight again and you can see how that baits this tackling in and that was fatal because now it's essentially a two-on-one situation over here Don Mike is playing this pass immediately a bit unlucky you have to say for Nasad that he's not able to intercept the ball right here but after that it's a very very easy finish so what we can take away from this scene right here is recognizing an opportunity to counter attack and then baiting the opponent in in a critical situation where you have to beat the defender in order to push forward once again with the left stick dribbling well done by dual mike here now on to the third scene and now we're getting more into the wing play because as i said that is also a very effective variation for Don Mike in this formation because he has his wing backs high up the pitch and he can use them in order to cross the ball in and then score from there. Once again at first we see some build up and once again some patient build up. Getting the ball to the left wing back and being patient if the opponent has the options covered so right here there's not really an opportunity to go forward so he doesn't press it instead he forms some triangles uses some safe dribbling then gets the ball to his strikers and he's always able to get the ball away from the defenders even in this you know a bit more tight scenario right here you can see passing the ball before the tackle can come in and then also here receiving the ball safely passing it back little one two dribbling up here always getting away from the defender never giving an opportunity to challenge in a one-on-one -on -one situation and then the winger is hugging the sideline i already said the winger of course it's the wing back but he's acting like a forward winger and that gives a lot of space and a lot of width to his formation and he's able to just play a pass into that player and afterwards he pushes down the wing and he's very very good at recognizing the situation in the center of the box and because he has not only his two strikers but also the support from his one one center mid who's pushing forward he has lots 
lots of players in the center and it's very hard for the center backs to defend all of them and that's why in this situation right here Ronaldo is basically open because only these two players are covered and the wing back is not really doing a great job and so Don Mike realizes okay Ronaldo is coming in here and he simply crosses it in with an R1 or RB cross so simply hold R1 or RB on Xbox while you cross and it will be a cross which is pretty low over the ground and then he's able to just take it volley and score the 2-0. And now we have the last gameplay scene of this analysis and this is also a cross which he's able to utilize in order to score another goal in the second game. Once again, just too many players in the box and his opponent is not able to defend all the runs. Um, and we can just see, obviously at this point the opponent needs to be aggressive, needs to defend high up the pitch because he's... Uh, down four goals already in the second game so uh, no criticism on him for that part um, but Don Mike is just able to outplay that essentially and and you can see that in these little scenes it doesn't look difficult but believe me if you're playing in a foot champions cup final the opponent knows what he's doing and knows how to pressure you on the ball and it's not easy to always get away from that but you can see that Don is always using the body of his player to shield the ball away and then also receive the ball in a way that he has a passing option available right after like to this player in the center here and he's getting away from the pressure okay I lied he's not going for that option but instead plays forward to Pele but it doesn't really change the fact that he's able to continue his play here he's under pressure again so what does he do he lets the ball bounce back to his center mid and he's very aware because the opponent as I said is pretty good as anticipating as well so he will push forward aggressively into that player because he guessed that this pass would follow and Don Mike is receiving the ball with a sprint contact upwards to get away from that defender as quickly as possible. Little ball roll in order to sh uh, shield the ball. Very effective skill move for doing just that and passing backwards. And now he has his overlapping run. Once again, you can just see how powerful this formation is in attack. One pass to the side over here. And as we can already see on the radar, this pass is wide open and Don Mike obviously knows that because he has played this formation quite a lot and now he's in this position here and once again it's extremely hard for the AI defenders to cover all the crossing opportunities. He could also go for a low pass towards the center. Um, the opponent tried to be aggressive, tried to win the ball back, but it's just too many passing options and too many forward runs at the end of the day. Um, and then we can see that here Naysat decides to push forward with his center back and then this other center back in the middle can't defend both options for the cross. And this time uh, Dolan goes for a high cross towards Pele, which ends up coming down very low and then the volley finish. Obviously, he also has the players for it, um, but it doesn't take away from the fact that he's very, very effective and good at keeping the ball against high pressure, at pushing forward when there's an opportunity to counter attack or to increase the pace in his attack with some deep passes. And then he uses the left stick dribbling in order to create space and fool the defenders, or he goes for the crosses if he sees an opportunity a run inside the box. That's it for today's analysis guys. I hope you enjoyed it and were able to take something away from it for your post-patch gameplay. If so, then please leave a like on this video since it helps out the channel massively. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any further video of FIFA 21 on the guide. I'll better talk to you in the next one. See you then. Much love. Peace.